All right, so you've got your ESP8266 board, and you've got the Arduino IDE installed and open. Got everything all plugged in, and you're ready to get started. Uh, but we're not using an Arduino Genuine Uno on COM3, as you see here. So we're going to have to change that board. But if you just go up to here and look in your boards manager, you're going to see, well, I don't have that. Uh, so how do I get that? I'm going to show you how. What you're going to have to do is copy this link here and put it in <clears throat> Excuse me. the preferences and the additional boards manager URLs. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to go up to boards you go to the board manager and this should download more boards than were there before so let's scroll down see what we've got here and there it is it's at the very end the ESP 8266 by ESP8266 community. You're going to want to click on that and click install. And this could take a little while. Well, it does. Uh, I'll try and keep you entertained here. These little uh, ESP8266 boards are a lot of fun. They're similar to an Arduino, but they've got Wi Fi built in, so it's got a built-in web server so they're really perfect for the Internet of Things the new IOT latest buzzword um, I'm gonna let this download and we'll get back to you in a minute alright I'm back and as you can see the ESP8266 community package is installed so I'm gonna go ahead and close my board manager and uh, now when I go to the tools I should be able to pick the board that I want and which is going to be down here oops, excuse me in the ESP modules which you can't really see here so I'm going to scroll that up alright so there there's a whole bunch of them now this particular script is using uh, is requiring this uh, particular board and also going to go see how this has changed down here. Also going to go up here and check this. It need the USB tiny ISP. That's changed all by itself. And you've got all these other settings here. And I've actually documented this in this particular script right here, um, which you can download. I'll I'll put a link to download this script. And there you have it. So you've got your Node MCU 1.0 ESP12e module board, and the programmer is set properly. We're going to go ahead and uh, try and compile and upload this to our ESP8266 board. And I am using the 12e development board. Uh, and you can also see that down here. So that's one of the reasons why uh, we need this package. Alright, so it's compiling. This might take a second. Alright, <clears throat> so I have had forgotten to uh, select the proper COM port. It was on COM3 when I tried to compile earlier and I got a uh, error message. So you do want to make sure you go to the port and choose the proper uh, COM port. So I've already done that and now I'm going to recompile my sketch and upload and hopefully you won't have any error messages.
and there we go. Looks like it uh, compiled uh, without a problem, and now it's uploading to the board. And almost done. This computer is kind of slow. Yeah, now we're done. So I'm going to check the serial monitor to see if we are getting any data. Alright, so I bring it over here and we don't see anything. Now you want to make sure this is set up properly. I'm using the 11.5 uh, 200 setting down here. So you want to make sure your baud rate is proper. So you can see now, you can actually see some characters coming out here. So uh, in the code, this means it's attempting to connect to the Wi-Fi. But uh, I've put in a false user ID and password, so <laughs> it's not going to connect right now. Uh, give me a second here, and I'll I'll change that. Okay, so I changed the uh, Wi-Fi SSID and password so that it can actually connect. Now I'll show you the serial data. So here we go. And that's what the program is writing out to the serial port. Um, basically the analog raw value, which is 395. It's just uh, reading a soil moisture sensor that's not in any soil. It's dry. And the voltage from the sensor and some other data there. Anyways, that's how you get connected. And I uh, hope this helps you out. It's at least get you started uh, using the ESP8266 with the Arduino uh, IDE. Thanks.